uh, hello everybody I'm Shobit so guys in this video we will talk about you know how we can interact with DynamoDB using .NET so let's get started so I'm just opened my DynamoDB over here you can see there are lots of table so what I'll do I'll create a new table so for that I just need to click on table create table so I'll put a name of this table I'm saying this is a user table and here I have to specify a partition key so I'll specify ID as a partition key and I'll not keep any short key as of now and uh, I'm just creating this table by default values so you can see over here this user table has been created so it's basically creating as of now within 30 seconds it will create so once it will create I will add some data in this so let's wait for its creation now you can see this is created here you can see there is only zero item over here so I'll just add few items in this to adding you just need to click on the explore item over here you have an option to add item so I'll say the ID would be string sh suppose this is my id and i want to add more attributes then i will specify as a name this specify name as show with and i'm saying create object so only one object uh, is there one row is there i will add some more rows so for that i will just duplicate it and Enter blue now I'm saying this is Nitin so here you can see we have two rows over here right so what I'll do I'll access this using I'll access this data using dotnet web application right so I already have my web application over here so this is a web application which I have recently created so let me quickly go through with this first so here in this I have added few things so first I have to uh, include some NuGet packages so for that you can see over here I have included this Dynamo DB v2 NuGet packages and the AWS SDK extension .NET Core also and these two new packages I have added and after that I have added some changes in the startup.cs so in the startup.cs I specify that I need a configuration from the AWS option and so once we have the AWS option then I have added into the add default AWS option the parameter which we are passing over here after that we need to specify the dependency of I Dynamo DB I am is on DynamoDB and after that I need to specify the dependency of DynamoDB context right so this is the few changes you need to do and for these changes you need to include this NuGet packages after that uh, in the application setting.json you have to specify the region and the profile so if profile is not configured in your machine you need to you know configure it using AWS configure method since you click on that you will basically get the profile if you want to modify anything you can modify it so I'm not modifying anything as of now so for the reason I'm just specifying the south one and the default format is you so you are able basically you are able to configure the AWS if you want to confirm it you just need to click on the AWS over here in your user account go to the credentials or maybe in the config so once you open it you will see you with it is a default and this is the reason of specified so the profile name is default you need to copy this put it over here in the profile right after that you need to create it one class which is it's basically a model class which you need to create so my table name is user so I'm specifying a DynamoDB table here I have specified the name of my table user and in the primary key you know I have specified an ID and in the DynamoDB properties I specify the name so these two properties would be exact match this to this table so here you can see I have ID I have name 
so so far so good after that you need some changes in your controller so here in my controller I have basically modified some methods only one method I have modified so I have passed a dependency of I Dynamo DB context here you can see and here in the iDynamo DB context I need to specify a load async method so load async method is basically asking for the primary key or the hash key so the, my primary key is here is my primary key if you see over here this ID is my primary key I want to extract the data based on this primary key so what I'll do I will put sh over here so I want the data uh, for sh right so I'll put sh over here and uh, now everything is good so what I need to do is just execute it so once I execute it you will see in the swagger I uh, have an endpoint just click on try out here you can see we have an unable to locate property for the attribute ID so we have to look into that why it is this so okay so this is pk i need to specify as id right? because id is my hash key right so this is, these are the changes we need to do i just need to run it again and uh, this time i i hope it will work let's see so here you can see i am just it is, it is getting me some data the data is same which we have input in my dynamo db and uh, here you can see I am using a load method, load async method. And if I want a scan, complete scan, right? So this is the code for that. So if I want a complete scan, then I need to go for the context.scan async. Here I need to specify the class, the model, and it will scan all the properties. So if I am run it, you can see it will return all the data of the DynamoDB. So you can see it has all the data right so i hope this program would be very helpful for you since this is a very basic program in the upcoming videos i'll add some more complex program related to dynamodb if you like my video please subscribe my channel i'll post this code into my github laboratory uh, github repository so that you can get access of this code yeah thanks for watching this video